our division, which I think is the most difficult division. We got uh, ourselves, Cedar Rapids, and uh, Milwaukee all fighting for a playoff spot. In the World Cup terms, it's definitely the group of death, you know, and uh, every game in the division, whether you're playing St. Louis or whether you're playing KC, it's it's a tough it's a tough game. It, no matter no matter where you're playing at or who it's against. Honestly, our division. Let's be honest. Everybody knows it's the hardest division. Um, just tough teams, tough games. Um, our schedule was tough. I'm sure Cedar Rapids has got a tough schedule. KC too. So I mean, you got the premier teams right there, and and obviously Chicago's a good team, but they kind of fell off a little bit. But I mean, yeah, it's it's tough, man. It's it's interesting, obviously for the fans. I'm sure they love it, but uh, I mean, if you're a player in our division and a team in our division, you're probably wishing you were in one of the other divisions because technically your record probably already got you in. So, yeah, it's tough, man. But I I mean, it is what it is. So we just got to deal with it. practice we the way we've been doing for the last seven eight weeks when we started the win streak we hit a point where we changed our mentality we were tired of losing you know it wasn't okay for us to win one game uh, lose one game win three games lose one game we changed the whole mindset and the whole attitude at practice and I think if we continue to do that then uh, that's gonna be the key for success for us uh, Wow overall just a strong team and a team that's you know been together for a, a long time that that all have experience and, and knowledge together. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah! Uh, I got a lot of things to say. A lot of good things. A lot of good things. A lot, a lot of good things. But um, um, uh, like the leaders. And uh, coming from Everton himself, you know, I know it's tough being a player coach, but he's done a really good job with us and in, into buying into his system. And I think that we're all, we've all had his back from then on. And to me, if you buy into a system that everybody believes in, no matter what team you are in this league, you'll have a good shot. Um, but no, they, they bring it good. They play good soccer. They're very composed. Um, they got some deadly players. Um, and I'm telling you, on their field though, they're they're dangerous on their field, man. That that thing is small, man. So they they can honestly really put up some points. The credit to them this year. They they're a totally different team, but um, I definitely want to beat the Cedar Rapids. They also put on a good show, halftime between quarters. I mean, they're playing music in the game. Everyone's dancing. I mean, I might occasionally take off my shirt a couple of times, so that's always good too. But no, nah, it's great, man. And honestly, for the Milwaukee Wave, obviously story franchise, um, a lot of history there. And I just want to keep it going. You know, I want to definitely make sure we hopefully get into the playoffs and, and just keep our, our legacy going here in, in Wisconsin. Because obviously to not make the playoffs, it's going to hurt, man. I think it's going to hurt the city. It's going to hurt the players. It's going to hurt us. So. We don't plan on doing that, I hope, you know? You know, it's always been a battle with us in Milwaukee. Um, we've had some of the best games. Uh, I've played for seven years now since the organization has come back with Milwaukee. It's always back and forth. Credit to them, they're a good team, um, very good players. So it's just, it's always fun playing Milwaukee. You know, they've, they've been together for a while, but they also have some new blood in there, which, which I think is very important. and. Uh, and half of their team's success this season. Fahid's a guy that controls him and Sosa control Kansas City. They need them in the back and in the midfield to play through. Uh, I think Fahid is a, is a great captain for the team and a great leader for Kansas City and he does a very good job keeping his team together and on the same page. Oh man, just composed, veteran, all-star good guy in general um but i'm better looking though so but great guy
Gordy, man, man, boy is like a rubber band, man. And he's so flexible. Needs to stay off the ground a little bit, but nah, he's awesome, man. Good kid, good player, man. Honestly, I wish good things for him. He can score goals. Gordy Gerson finds a way to score his goals. Ian Ben is a is a great goal scorer in this league. He's he's one of the probably one of the if not the fastest one of the fastest players in this league, and uh, he's got a team that's been feeding him the ball. I mean, on the power play, I think he's got like 14 or 15 power play goals, and that's just someone that you need on your squad. You know he's going to score goals. You know he's going to get assists, and he's definitely showing it this season. And he's doing a good job. You guys, uh, actually Bennett's on the national team with me, you know, uh, on the foot's on that Canadian national team with me. It's going to be fun playing him. Uh, uh, I think Kansas City and Cedar Rapids. Oh my God, come on, man, that's easy. You know, I, I got to go with the Canadian too, my boy. I got <laughs> to go with KC and us, man. Um, that we're going to kick your 